Hey guys, today is tofu veg noodles with miso ramen broth. Well, it's not a ramen broth. Well, yeah, maybe it kind of is. But yeah, so this is that's what I'm making. I've already chopped the onion. So obviously you don't want to see me chopping onion. That's just boring as hell. Um, obviously, got 900 milliliter water, two veg stock cubes, which are going to go in. Yeah, just so you know, guys, this is a vegan recipe. But can be made vegetarian or meat with meat depends on preference. Yeah. So all I'm doing at the minute is stir to make the make the broth. Then I'll add the miso, and I'm gonna cook in that nice big saucepan with the noodles. Get that ready, and then I'll fry all the veg. Yeah. So we're gonna use two of these in 200 400 milliliters water because it's 200 each. Yep, so here we go, that's the miso in the water, which I'm going to then add to the veg stock because I'm going to use four nests for four people, the whole meat, whole wheat noodles. Right, so I'm going to put this back on, let's see how to use this cooker. Right. Yep. That should be okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the veg oil, put it in the pan with some garlic, Manch out the tofu, the onion, and I'm going to fry it off with some nice light soy sauce till the tofu is nice and got a wee bit crisp to it, so it doesn't just stay soft because you don't want it to just integrate when you go put it into the broth. You don't want it falling apart when you're eating it. It's not good. Yeah, so we're going to keep this like on the low to medium heat. So obviously we're going to try and bring it back to the bowl, and then we'll add. Well, yeah, we're going to bring it back to the bowl, and then we'll add the noodles, and obviously cook that through. If you need to add more water, obviously I will update that with the the stock and the miso, because obviously so this this consistency and the levels are right because we're making it for four people. Yeah, so the nests are in. I'm going to have to make more stock, so I'm boiling the kettle for another lot, and what I'll do then is I'll add another lot of the miso. With, some, with another 200 milliliters of water. You want, what you want is you want it to cover so it cooks nice and all the way through. Now, now the pan's hot and the oil's heated, gonna add the onion. So yeah, that's the onion in. I try and chop it nicely and thinly because obviously it bulks out a wee bit and obviously as I said, it's for four people so yeah, that way everyone gets a decent portion. So now I'm going to add the tofu and the managed towel as well and cook it all through with some soy and some garlic granules. In case you're wondering, I did use a whole pack of managed towel. Right, so to say now I did about three, four tablespoons of the soy, even though that's marinated, and obviously I just pour the garlic on. Yes, yeah, so while the veggies fine, this is me making the extra miso stock for the noodles and the broth. Add that in. Oh, oh, oh. Give them a good wee stir using the whole wheat noodles. Give them a good wee stir, break them up. They'll eventually soften down. So, yeah, we'll cook this till it's nice and fragrant. Yeah, hear that lovely sound. And once obviously all the onions nicely softened. I will add it all together into that. And then that is tofu, veg, miso, broth, noodles. All right, there we go. All mixed. And what I'll do now is I'll bring that back to the bowl and then simmer it just to still break down the noodles. Look, as you can see, they're still clumping together a wee bit. And obviously, because we're making a feast of it, I didn't make the spring rolls, just so you know. I did buy them from Morrison's. We're still going, so normally personally I would add chilli to this, but um, some people don't like chilli um, and I need to make it for people that can't have spice, so we're making it soft, mild, mild. But, ah, there we go. Looking good, smelling good. Alright, there you go, dinner for free, even though I made for four, finished product.